Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second presentation of this four day of 20 minutes webinar. Today's session will be focused on the latest and greatest Easy Render, which is a new rendering engine in 2020 Design Live. Who am I? I'm Santiago Morales. I'm the product manager of 2020 Design Live. I've been with the company close to five years. So my role as a product manager is to make sure that we get you the right tools. All right, 2020 Design Live, what is it? Well, essentially, 2020 Design Live is composed of two flavors. There's Design Live Foundation, and there's Design Live, the full version that we consider. And it provides additional functionalities of your regular 2020 design that you might be already used to. Okay? The number one functionality, well, it's a subscription cloud license, meaning that you no longer need to have a dongle to access 2020 Design Live across multiple computers. So you can download, install 2020 Design Live on any number of computers and just simply sign out from a computer and sign back in from another computer to be able to access your product. The second functionality that is of importance with 2020 Design Live is what we're called today the Easy Render, so the latest, greatest uh, rendering engine, so providing you amazing rendering in less time. So more on that in a few seconds. Other functionalities, well, it provides you access to the file-based generic catalogs. It provides you access to cloud-configurable generic catalog. Okay? So uh, for those of you who are uh, familiar with 2020 design, uh, file-based generic catalogs, these are your regular sample E and sample F catalogs. And when we're talking about cloud configurable generic catalogs, it's all the catalogs that are available through the CIC browser, which start with 2020. So these are the frame and frameless cabinetry, the decorative item, the appliances, and the faucet and sink catalog. Now, the main differentiator between the two uh, flavors of 2020 Design Live is actually uh, with respect to manufactured content. So to the full version, you'll have file-based manufacturer catalog access and as well as cloud configurable manufacturer catalog. So if you need, if you already work with a specific brand, you can, you can actually work and look for that catalog in our cloud browser and see whether you can directly create your uh, designs with these catalogs. Okay. The added benefit of 2020 Design is also to be able to quote directly from 2020 Design Live. So once you create your project, you'll be able to create a list of items and get the associated price. Cool. Also, not to forget, when you go to 2020 Design Live, you still get access to all the other functionality that you're used to today. So if you like the great functionality of 2020 Design Live, you won't be losing any other uh, the previous one of 2020 design. Okay. Now on to Easy Render. Very excited about this one. So I'll be presenting a couple of slides of that were rendered through Easy Render um, and explaining you the benefits of this new rendering tool. So right away you can notice that there's no pixelation. So this is always a challenge with many rendering engines out there on the market. As you can see, the rendering is quite crisp. You can see the reflections are nice. And one of the challenges that we had with our previous version of 2020 design is that it was kind of hard or challenge to get white to appear white. So in this case, as you can see, the walls appear white. The cabinets also appear white. No pixelation. Whites are better. And definitely you get than those white cabinets more work. Other functionality or other aspects of ED, Easy Render is that it facilitates the lighting uh, experience. So that's also a challenge for a lot of those renders, trying to have a well-lit uh, room. So it's always trying to balance how many lights I need to add so that my rendering looks perfectly and looks nice for the end customer. So we're going to alleviate a lot of those controls so that we take away that overhead and make sure that we present, uh, by default, a good-looking rendering engine or rendering uh, image. Another point that's, uh, that's good to mention is that the materials are 
very likely to the, um, the manufacturer uh, at once. Also, again, uh, a challenge for all those rendering uh, engines out there is making sure that what you see is actually what you're going to get once you get the manufactured product. So with easy render, you'll have a better fidelity of the colors and how the finish look once they're rendered. A very important aspect of easy render is not only does it alleviate the light composition in creating a good looking rendering from the get go, it also uh, reduces the time in which these rendering are produced. This is very important. And let me get some, some examples for you. I have a rendering here that was created both with the easy render and with the previous version of, of, of the Redway 3D. For this specific image, it took us uh, seven minutes, seven to eight minutes with the previous engine. With the new easy render, this was rendered in under a minute. So it's an 80% uh, time in reduction. So again, you're not only saving time in setting up your uh, products or your lighting, but you're also saving time in rendering those images. So a lot of benefits for you to try to create those um, projects and get this to closure as fast as possible with your customer. Okay? A lot of time and money saving for you as well. Okay, so once before I get to there, let's get on, on to 2020 design. Okay, so for those of you who are not very uh, who are not familiar with 2020 uh, design, this is the product. Uh, it's composed of a couple of main area. We have at the top we have uh, the ribbon, which provides access to many controls that are essential to the product of uh, the creation of your products. We have the center area, which is composed of the floor plan area and the elevation view. So a lot of your work will be focused in this two, these two areas. On the left-hand side, you have what I call the cloud browser. Also, you, if you're used to 2020 design, you have access to the local browser, provides access to file-based content, local content. Cloud browser is a new latest initiative bringing you the latest of catalogs in the cloud. The advantage of the cloud browser is that you can now have access to all of these cool items uh, at your fingertips without the need to download, install, making sure that you have the latest and greatest catalogs for you to design with. Okay? On the right-hand side, I have the Cloud Configurator, which permits you the configuration of cloud items. The Cloud Configurator is composed of two areas, the features and the associated options. So if I have a door styles, I have possible options that I can select for my door style. Same thing for my finishes, I have reflected uh, selected options that are, that are available for me to select from. All right, so go, going back to Easy Render. How do I access Easy Render? Well, first of all, there's a couple steps. You need to make sure that you have the latest version of 2020 design, and you need to make sure that you have, of course, a 2020 design live license. Step number three is to make sure that you activate it through the Preference menu. So if I go under Preference, and I select under the rendering performance, I have at the top two controls. So by default, it's set to Redway 3D, which is our legacy Red Ray rendering engine. Today, we offer the easy render in beta mode. And there's still work that needs to be done in order to make it a full product ready uh, version. But you can still try it out and play with it. I've seen a lot of exciting uh, renderings performed already by users in the community. One of them is Jackie, who's providing a couple of rendering with a really impressive with Easy Render. So simply by clicking Easy Render here, you press OK. Now the next time I open a perspective, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be rendered in Easy Render. I'm just going to pull up two perspectives that I had open previously, give you a comparison of the two engines. Okay. On the left-hand side, I have the legacy version of uh, our rendering engine. And on the right-hand side, I have the easy render. Okay? So I'm just going to move a bit the viewpoint so you can see it rendered and see how quickly it can generate an image for you in less time and with high crispiness. 
right? So you have them passed side by side. You'll, you'll notice if you, I'm not sure, actually I hope you notice because it, this is going through a connection, a remote connection, but I hope you notice that the, uh, the, the details that are more crisper in the easy render. Also the lighting is much convivial with the easy render. Look at the background. Look how the scene looks much better. So these are examples as to why easy render is better product and provides uh, more reliability as to how your project will look and how it will wow your client. Okay? Another aspect I'd like to point out is our stainless steel. The stainless steel are more convivial and more um, reliable to what they need to be looking for. Okay? I've also created an image in high quality rendering and hopefully it shows okay with you. So I'm just going to bring this here. This took a couple minutes to generate. So for the sake of presentation, I just brought it over. And you'll see again, the reflection of some of these counters is quite, is quite astonished. And look at this appliance on the right-hand side. Simply amazing. Hopefully you can appreciate that. And hopefully you get a chance to play with the easy render when you have a chance and try it out on your own. So you'll appreciate the facet of which you can generate these render engines and the lighting balance that we've introduced with this new tool. Okay. We took the ex I took the experience a bit more because it's good to understand that the rendering is also beneficial to the 360 panoramic images. And I did just that. I, in my off time, I've generated a 360 panoramic image, which I'll bring in right now. And again, I hope, hopefully it shows OK on your side through the remote connection. Look at this question and I'll let it swivel its own pace, so you'll understand what I'm talking about when you see it's a lot more crisp, the lines are much neater, the stainless steel are much brighter and more reflective to what it's supposed to be. I'm just going to zoom in to some of these areas and look at this faucet, for example, and how crisp and look and good it looks on my screen. Look at these kind of tops and this reflective on these um, roots. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so a small recap as to how do you have access to the easy render. First of all, install the latest version. Right now, the latest version is 12.2. Uh, get a 2020 Design Live license. And as I've mentioned, you need to go and set it in the Performance Preference menu, set it to Easy Render. Okay. A small caveat is since this is a beta version, there's still work that needs to be done. We noticed that there's some um, challenges with the Lighting Wizards uh, lights that were added through that tool. So we recommend we turn that off for now. And in version 12.3, which is about to be released in the next few weeks, we've addressed this as well. So you'll be able to use the Lighting Wizard with that version on, in Easy Render. Cool. What's next? What's coming for the easy render? So as I mentioned, this is a, a beta uh, release. So we'll continue to work on the lighting. We're continue going to be working on the controls that are accessible to set your lighting. But most importantly, we're going to provide you with additional filter, post-processing filters that allows you to create more um, dramatic effect that some of you are looking for. So canvas, cartoon, halftone, Hatch, which is similar to the sketch um, presentation that we used to have. Okay? Other control that's been asked for a long time now is these ones. These are post-process controls of your rendered image. So let's concentrate here on the right-hand side. You have, you'll be able to set up the brightness. You'll be able to set up the contrast, the shadows, the highlights, the color temperature, saturation. I can always already hear a lot of oohs and ahs as we've been looking at the, our clients have been looking for this for, uh, for quite a while now. Another cool aspect is the introduction of the pick of the white point and pick of the black point. So this is another advanced functionality that permits you to set your white balance in, in your rendered image. So you get, get to get the true whites or the two, true blacks in your rendered image. So that's coming soon. Please stay tuned. What's coming up tomorrow? Wednesday and Thursday. There's two additional functional webinars that's coming uh, tomorrow, 
It's a presentation done by Vanessa on NKBA standards and how the latest version of 2020 Design Live will help you adhere to the latest NKBA standards. And on day four, we have a presentation uh, done by uh, Ida, who's going to answer a lot of questions related to 2020 Design Live. How many of you can I install it on multiple computers? Will my SketchUp item work? Okay, how do I get my hands on 2020 Design Live license if I already have a license? So these are questions that are going to be addressed through the day four of the webinar. Please stay tuned on that as well. If you're looking for additional material, we're providing a lot of training. Uh, so on, on, on class, in class training, remote class training. Um, so these are all cool uh, additional information you can get and get knowledge on. There's also the Knowledge Center, which is a series of white paper articles that are accessible through our web pages. And of course, we have the 2020 community, which is basically manned by a lot of 2020 users around the world that are constantly asking and answering questions from other users. So that's a lot of good source of information if you're looking for some specific uh, topics. If you want to follow, follow us on social media, please mark these hashtags. Uh, these are very cool tips. If you want to learn more about 2020 Design Live, what's how you can render, how you can use a tool so you can become more efficient while using 2020 Design Live today. Cool. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you very much for attending and hopefully you enjoyed it.